There's an action RPG out there that is making all kinds of noise. It's called Dragon's oh, Crown. Oh, was Diablo 3 for that the PlayStation too, yes. 3. That's, that's been making noise for about 10 or 15 years, but Dragon's Crown is relatively new. It's been out for a little while now. It's on the Vita and the PlayStation 3. What did you think of this one? Well, you said to me, take this home. You're going to enjoy it. I think you're going to have a good time with this. Yeah. And guess what? You were wrong. What? You yep. don't like it? I didn't like is it. Is it the no. boobs? No. The boobs. Uh, they, I mean, these aren't even boobs. These things, I would call them shelves. I would call them wobblers. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look at these things. This is ridiculous. This reminds me of a dirty cartoon book that my dad used to have next to the toilet they are. when we were growing up. They're I like Mad Magazine yeah, characters. I could not I even believe. I'm just like, how big do these things need to be? I mean, these are like airbags. I know. But all that being said, I really like this game. All right, well, let's talk about some of the backstory. Okay. Okay, there's a dragon's crown. Yeah. It's a special artifact, and it has been lost, like all special artifacts, and the king himself goes in search of it. He can't find it now. It's up to you whether you decide to be a dwarf, a warrior, yep. an Amazon, or a sorceress, yeah. to go and find the king and to find the dragon's artifact. And of course, just like all role-playing games since the dawn of time, you're going through ice ruins and dank caves, yep. and you're opening treasure chests, and you're finding loot. Now, one of the big draws here is the fact that you can play this cooperatively, but not from the start. It takes about five hours before you finally right. unlock the cooperative mode in this game. And I kind of like that about this game because what it forces you to do is it forces you to really familiarize yourself with the mechanics of the game. It yeah. also forces you to commit to this game in a very real way before you get online. You know, so the people who would just sort of graze or the people who would just try something on the buffet right. of co-op, they're not going to be allowed here. Well, it also speaks to the depth of the game because at first blush it looks like just a traditional scrolling beat em up. It's like Final Fight, yeah. But it's way bigger than that. It's a really massive experience. You're going to have lots of side quests and lots of interactions with lots of cool characters. The writing is good. You know, some silly kind of cliched character classes and stuff like that, but still, it's unique, it's fresh, and it's one of these types of games that works well on a big giant screen, but it also works quite well on the big giant Vita screen as well. It feels know? a little too cluttered on the Vita. It on does the PlayStation yeah. Network, it yeah. feels a little like because there's the, enough room to move around. The character sizes of the animated characters are so huge, huge. on this screen, yeah. and they take so much of the real estate, which is kind of beautiful, but yeah, I agree with you. It's a little bit hard to kind of make out some of the, the combat I like it animations. when you agree with me. I kind of agree. It happens once in I a still, great while. I still really dig this game. Of course I think you it's do. worth the 40 bills. And 40? I think, That's and, too much. Which is expensive in these in this day and How age. How about 20? You'd like it a lot more. I'd love it 20. at 20. Okay. But I, I can deal with 40 because it's a lot of content, and if you've got friends that are into this kind of stuff, you're going to be able to play with them. Score it up, Victor Lucas. It's an 8 for me. It's a 7 for me, but I'm taking two points off for... Uh, you know, the problems with these. Yeah. The shelves. The wobblers.